five things women don't realize about men. Hello and welcome to today's exciting new video. Over the years, we have tried to study human behavior and understand why a lot of us do the things we do. And no matter what generation the world comes to, each gender will always have its separate list of pros and cons. That is one undeniable fact. When it comes to men particularly, there's a whole lot of women that think they know but simply don't get. And to be honest, men aren't exactly the best at explaining how they feel or why they do the things they do. A lot of magazines these days give us long lists of what men want. But the question is, how do we know we are not just reading a bunch of generic and sexist nonsense? I mean, if you research carefully, there's very little that women are told about what men are like emotionally and how they think. Most of the advice you find is about sexual aspects of relationships, or how it is always best to let men dominate the equation. In the end, men are reduced to stereotypes, but is that all it is to them? The answer is no. In today's video, we are going to be undoing many incorrect reiterations of this sort. We would reveal certain things that many women don't realize about guys and their attitudes toward relationships. We have a feeling it will explain a lot of common things that happen in relationships. If you want to understand why your man is the way he is, or why he suddenly became uninterested in you, keep watching. Just before we start, I'd like you to click the subscribe button below. Done? Thank you. Now, here are the five things that women don't realize about men. Guys seek attention too. This is one thing that most men won't ever admit. They do like girly things too. Some men even enjoy grooming themselves by getting manicures or pedicures and even watching chick flicks. The only reason he'll deny any of it is because he's trying to avoid getting teased and made fun of because, well, dudes kind of do that a lot. Now, it's undeniable that everyone loves to be complimented. There is nothing better than knowing someone else likes what you're doing and how nice you look. Compliments have a way of making us feel appreciated, loved, and beautiful. I think it's fair to say that women love compliments and will go out of their way to get one from you. How nice does my hair look? Look at my new dress. Do you think this makeup brings out my eyes? One thing women don't realize is that men like compliments as well. Being appreciated is a human desire, and men also fall into that category. Guys shouldn't be the only ones doing the complimenting. They should also be receiving compliments. Let your guy know that his hair looks sexy or that his arms look buff in his shirt. Let him know that you appreciate him for being so loyal and kind. Tell him what you like about him by complimenting him, and you may be surprised to find your relationship getting stronger. Affection through words is known to be a great way to boost someone's morale. Some guys also want to be stared at, fretted over, and have a lot of the attention on themselves. Forget how tough they look on the outside, and remember that they are human. The truth is that men actually crave your undivided attention every once in a while. Have you ever heard of a man cold? This is a great example of just how much men love attention. Something about them being sick amplifies their need for attention and extra love and coddling. Give your guy the attention and love he needs and take care of him when he's sick and give him your full attention more often. It is human nature, not just women's nature, to like the feeling of being the center of attention. One way that men feel relevant is when their woman tells them that they appreciate them. One way to make them feel good is to laugh at his jokes. The next one shows how men totally adore being the source of a woman's joy. Men love it when you laugh at their jokes. Allow me to let you in on a secret. All men love it when they hear their women laugh. More so if they are the reason why. I can't stress how they absolutely love making women giggle. They feel they're obliged to crack jokes that would make you laugh till your stomach hurts. It's one of the best feelings to them. So why fight it? Seeing you controlling your laughter will make him think there's something wrong with him. Stop thinking so much and just laugh your hardest. Does your guy try to fit in a joke every moment he can find? Is he constantly making goofy faces to try and make you laugh? Instead of rolling your eyes at him and walking away, laugh with him. Men love to know that you think they're funny. It's just their nature. It's one of the highest compliments a guy can receive from you. Think back to when you were in grade school and the boys would tease you and bug you just to get your attention. Chances are it's because they wanted to make you laugh. When you laugh at their jokes, no matter how silly or stupid it may be, you're giving them validation, affection, and confirmation in who they are. Just be sure that you are laughing with him and not at him, as you will recall that men too are humans and can be self-conscious. 
If he is able to genuinely make you laugh and knows it, then he knows you do love him. Men are humans. The moment we understand this, everything that seems so hard to understand can suddenly get clearer. Forget about the picture that magazines, movies, and even novels have painted men to be. Men are not psychic. They are not mind readers. Yes, that's right, men can't read your mind or know exactly what you're thinking at any time. Even superheroes and aliens don't have that power. Just ask Clark Kent. Women always have thoughts that run through their heads and even forget that some men are different than they are and they're not always going to be on the same page. They expect their man to know exactly what they're thinking, what is on their mind, what they want, and what they expect of him. All of these without even explaining anything to them. What they don't realize about men is that they can't read their minds. Yep, they're not superheroes or psychics. Men, as a result, are often left in anguish, wondering what to do. They end up both frustrated and confused, because, try as they might, men are really bad at guessing, and even if they worry about it, there is a high chance they won't know what's up. One of the easiest ways to get around this is for women to just take a chill pill and tell him. The more you are able to tell him what you want, the more he will actually be able to guess what you want in the future. Don't beat around the bush and leave him confused and guessing. Give him the answer so that he can be on the same page as you. This is guaranteed to make your relationship much better, and your man will actually be happier knowing what you're thinking. Another fact to note, and next on this list is, men are not walls of stone. They have feelings too. They have just been conditioned to be ashamed of showing weakness. So you just have to treat them the way you would want to be treated. Men cry. Are you surprised? Well, don't be. This is a perfect example of one of the most stereotypical things that women believe about men. Of course, you can only see little boys cry, or maybe you have also seen a deeply anguished man shed tears, but only in movies. Movies portray men as rock-hard, strong people who only have angry emotional outbursts and only cry when it is absolutely necessary. I mean, how many times has a man ran after his wife's killer in films rather than just take a moment to cry? Well, it is finally time to adjust your thinking cap because in real life, they sure do. Men are human beings. They have a heart and they are capable of feeling everything ladies feel. It's really simple. Sure, you may not catch them crying randomly because they feel insecure, betrayed, or heartbroken, but that doesn't mean that men aren't very emotional and don't take things personally. They are also not immune to pain, physical or emotional. Don't always think that the back of the arm pinches are an adorable way of interacting. Research shows that most men find it excruciating and should be banned from all horseplay. As far as emotions go, saying rude things during an argument you might be engaged in sometimes ends up hitting too close to home and making them feel all bummed up inside. Be sensitive to your guy because he has emotions too. It is also important that if your guy does cry that you comfort him and not make fun of him. He may not show his tears as often as you do, but it's important to know that those feelings are still in there. Men do cry, they just hate admitting it, so they can avoid getting teased about it later. Have you ever wondered why men sometimes lose interest? What comes next will tell you just why you can't purposely make him jealous by flirting with other guys or keeping him at arm's length and getting away with it. I saved the best for last, but first I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. So if you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it. It really works. Playing hard to get gets old. Ladies, I want you to think for a moment. How many times have you lost a good guy because you were trying to make him work hard to get you? Suddenly you discover he is no longer trying to please you, and then you blame him for moving on after all the feelings he confessed to you. For years and years, men have always been the ones to chase after the woman while she makes him work for it. That's what we've been taught for generations. When trying to get the guy and keep him, sometimes women use the tactic of playing hard to get. They evade him flirtatiously, get guys to ask them out, but then remember they're busy or make up many other schemes to chase them. Now, although there's nothing wrong with that today, if you keep playing hard to get just to keep him on his toes, it will eventually get old. Playing hard to get can be fun for both sides, but it is important to know just when to stop. There has to be a point where he finally gets you and the scheming stops. Women sometimes don't realize that men can enjoy playing hard to get at the beginning, but 
Most times it can just get annoying and exhausting if it goes on for too long. Take a moment to think of the amount of energy he is trying to use to get you. It drains him emotionally and being turned down all the time really hits the ego. And physically, running after you gets stressful. And then mentally, his brain hurts from trying to figure you out. The most important thing to know is when playing hard to get is good and when it is time to give him a break. Did you enjoy this video? Are there things we missed out on? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. Thanks for watching, and have an excellent day.